been a day. It's been a life. It's been a it's been a night. I'm not gonna lie. Season two of Demon Slayer. Ooh, came back with a vengeance. Four Pentacles. Okay, save your money, girls. Save your money. We can't be material girls in a freaking recession. Hi guys. Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back. If you're new here, it's very nice to meet you. Um, I hope all of you guys are doing well. Are you doing well? Are you guys drinking your liquids? Are you guys eating? Are you guys sleeping enough? Are you taking care of you? I hope you are. So you guys, today is going to be the monthly predictions. Although I'm not making predictions in today's reading, I'm making suggestions. I'm making suggestions for you guys in the month of May. So hope you guys are excited. Without further ado, hold on. If you don't vibe with me, my readings aren't for you. I don't read for you. I'm not gonna connect to your energy. Um, that's not good for me and it doesn't make sense for you. So I'm not gonna do that. You're welcome to stay if you want, but my reading's not for you. Um, and for everybody else, here's a clip of the piles right now. All right, you guys, these are the four piles. We have group one with the rainbow aura quartz cluster, group two with a wildflower from my garden, group three with the rose quartz and group four with I, I believe this is a piece of wheat right guys it's a piece of wheat i think i don't know but yeah anyways those are the four piles if you guys need a moment to meditate on which pile is calling your name you guys are free to do that right now if you want to pick one pile you guys are always welcome to do so all right you guys have now picked your pile please go ahead and check out my description box so i'll give you guys time stamps for when your reading shall start and with that you guys let's go ahead and jump into today's pick a card the dice high group one welcome let's roll some zodiac dice okay we have capricorn literally just capricorn aries and capricorn you guys know what's interesting capricorn and sagittarius your reading today what it is that you should be focusing on in the month of may is very capricorny it feels very capricornic so i find that interesting but anyways capricorn and sagittarius uh sagittarius Taurus and Leo. Okay, so hello to all those signs. Sun, moon, rising doesn't have to be, but could be. We have Gemini here. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And that looks to be about it. Okay, guys, so we have the Page of Pentacles. So what should we be focusing on group number so sorry, group number one in the month of May? We should be focusing on leveling up. We should be focusing on, however, that applies to you right because obviously leveling up for everybody is different it's not going to be the same for everybody it's not going to be equal for everybody so i want you to apply this to you and your life what it is that you're currently working on what it is your current focus is on whether that is work school relationships whatever maybe even our physical selves or even maybe our mental selves but whatever it is we are leveling up there is a need for us to level up so this is something that you guys should be focusing on in the month of may we also have the king of pentacles which the king of pentacles is all about money abundance he's somebody who's stable and grounded he is a responsible king he's one of my personal favorite kings um again virgo taurus and capricorn energy here so very work oriented very ambitious hard working a very hard working king you guys but again he still has has that like groundedness and stability he's not like it, it, it's balanced right because he is very earthy so I'm feeling like for a lot of you the main focus that you guys need like the thing that you guys should be focusing on in the month of May is work is making more money I don't know if you guys have a side hustle if this is like asking you guys to focus on your side hustle um, or if you guys are in school and you need to like get better grades or if you're in a relationship or you're looking for a relationship and you need to like level up the type of people you're going after but there's some type of just like we need to do better babe like we need to do better we need to become more grounded and stable and like work a little bit harder i'm not saying you guys don't work hard that's not what i'm saying but the cards here represent working hard putting in a lot of effort and again that leveling up now we also have the queen of wands you guys need to become more confident in the month of may um this is quite literally talking about somebody who's a social butterfly so i don't know if you guys have been a little bit of a recluse lately i know you know the panini has like stopped a lot of things a lot of social situations from happening we're coming out of that now right so maybe this is encouraging you guys to put yourself back out there pre panini era right um 
get more comfortable with the idea of like going out this is also talks about confidence you guys the queen of wands is somebody who's very confident this is leo aries and sagittarius energy she's somebody who exudes confidence she again is very stable because she recognizes that she's not perfect she recognizes that she's not just like you know she's not perfect she has flaws and she knows that um she doesn't allow her st flaws to stop her from being confident though so embracing more confidence in the month of may and i feel like that's coming up for you guys because we have decisions that we have to make in the month of may so becoming more decisive i feel like is really important becoming someone who can make decisions and you're not like oh i don't know like i don't want to upset anybody so i don't want to make this decision or whatever you guys want like this is being more like blunt this is being more like i'm going Going to make the decision because this is what I want to do um I don't know you guys I'm just really seeing this as us being like needing to embrace the energy of being more decisive making decisions and not being afraid or not feeling like we have to cater to what other people want making decisions for ourselves and making perhaps decisions for other people as well we have a lot of leadership cards here you guys with the queen of wands and that king of pentacles so it does make me feel like we need to step into more of a role of being in control of our own life um and i'm not saying be inconsiderate right i'm just saying i feel like it's really important for us in the month of may to focus more on the decisions that we want to make not making decisions based on what other people want or not making decisions based on like what is going to be perceived as like the right decision but making decisions based on what we want so we also have the knight of wands you guys the knight of wands talks about somebody who again is ambitious this is outgoing energy this is the energy of like i'm super adventurous and i'm just gonna leap i'm just gonna go uh this gives me the energy of like, I want to party. I want to go travel. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Stretch my wings out and fly. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles can be a little bit, not necessarily the most practical. So I do feel like that's why this King of Pentacles is here to add some groundedness into the energy that we should be exhibiting in the month of May. It's like, be ambitious, go head first, but also be practical about it. Like jump in but be practical. That's what I feel like these two cards are saying together. All right, moving on to our Oracle cards for the month of May, we have called and it says soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Literally, you guys, what I was saying with this two of swords, I feel like because usually when I have the two of swords coming up in a reading, I feel like it's like, oh, we're being indecisive. We don't know what to do. But literally you guys in the month of may we need to know what to do we need to just make decisions and not second guess ourselves and not second guess our intuition literally it's time to step up leadership energy it's time to step up and walk through that portal because you want to do it don't let an, a joe tell you no okay don't let someone on the sidelines be like oh no you shouldn't walk through that portal you should just stay where you're at that sounds like a good idea like no screw joe okay we're gonna walk through the portal because we want to we're making decisions for ourselves soul gifts okay so also you guys getting in tune with your gifts getting in tune and don't in the comment section be like oh i'm not gifted i'm not talented everybody's talented at something you guys everyone okay like literally everyone so you are talented at something Find what you are talented at if you don't know what it is. Embrace it. Try to hone in on it. Perfect it. Okay. Obsess over it if you need to. But with this, I'm really feeling like there is a need for us. There is a calling for us to make decisions that we know deep inside. Like we want to make these decisions. We know deep inside that we want to move forward. I'm almost feeling like it's like this, you guys. I feel like for some of you, you've been wanting to like start a project or start something um, creatively or start something in your life just in general. And there's like hesitancy around it. And this whole like reading feels like, nah, step up, be a leader for yourself and do it. Like don't hold yourself back and don't allow other people to hold you back. We also have, you're not alone, okay? Isolation, physical connection and community, okay? So again, you guys stepping out and needing to embrace more of that sense of community back to that queen of wands. She is a social butterfly, okay? So perhaps you guys are finding inspiration through socializing. Perhaps you guys are finding inspiration through getting out of your comfort zone and not isolating as much. I know we're in a situation, you guys, for some of us, um, where isolation is still going on. I don't even know if my videos reach like Shanghai or anything like that. But if you are in a country or in a city that is still, um, you know, going through the motions of the panini, then like, I'm so sorry about that. 
For everybody else, I am feeling like this is calling you to socialize, to get out more, to not be so isolated. And I'm feeling like this is because you will re re reawaken your inspiration, reawaken your creative abilities, okay? Connecting to other people, you guys, is so important, okay? It's so freaking important. Now, we also have the initiation, and this is a rite of passage crossing the threshold, all right? So, as you guys can see here, there's like a storm, a bunch of darkness, and then on the other side, we have um, a beautiful like ocean, and it's bright and sunny and happy, and there's crystals everywhere, and everything's just beautiful. And I'm kind of viewing this, you guys, as these two cards being very, very similar, right? Like the initiation, but also following our soul gifts and walking through that portal. So there is a portal that we are walking through, you guys, or this is the energy that we should be embracing in the month of May, walking through portals, making big changes, leaving behind the old dusty, crusty, musty freaking energy, all right, the past, leaving behind this darkness, leaving behind the storm and walking into that bright future, right? Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, we have courage and it says by shining brave and true and bright my courage now returns this night Calling back your courage you guys. Here's the thing group number freaking one. It takes courage to level up Right, it takes courage to be a leader. Like I said, there's a lot of leadership energy here with the king of wands and the queen of freaking or the queen of wands and the king of pentacles That's leadership energy that takes courage, that takes bravery, you guys, okay? And I understand that that's not the easiest. I understand sometimes that's very difficult. But with this, even to walk through that portal we were talking about just now, we need to embrace courage. So in the month of May, I want you guys to become more courageous. I want you guys to embrace more of that courageous energy that you have within yourself. Take a chance, take a risk, okay? If you're feeling nervous or hesitant about something, okay, I want you guys to, to be open to the possibilities of what could come when we make when we take risks okay now we have creativity here as well and it says by all above and below let me connect let creativity flow okay so i adore this card with this again i do feel like it is calling for you guys to cultivate something i don't know if you guys are artists i don't know if you guys are in school creativity can mean an array of different things you guys but i am feeling like this is talking about us moving forward with a project or us moving forward with something that we've been wanting to do now if you're like oh there's nothing i've been wanting to do then i don't know what to tell you because this whole reading is about leveling up making decisions becoming more decisive okay so if that's not resonating with you, maybe this is not your pile because this is for people who you know what you want to do. Like, you know you want to go through that threshold and you're scared or there's some hesitancy, okay? And for some of you, it's like your own, like, oh, I'm not going to be good enough. I'm not going to, like, it's going to be hard. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. For others of you, there may be people around you who are speaking words of, like, you can't do this or that's like one in a million like don't even try right and i feel like with this creativity it's calling for you guys to take a chance in a creative direction take a chance um with that thing that you've been wanting to move forward with i don't know what that thing is that you're wanting to move forward with but i feel like you need to move forward with it okay all right now, I find this all interesting, you guys, because we also have the third house here and we also have um, Gemini, which these two are connected, you guys. Um, the third house is early learning, childhood relations, the rational mind and communication. This is about perspective, you guys, okay? So how we communicate. This is very, very important, group number one. I feel like this is asking for us to speak up, right? Uh, Mer Mercury. Gemini is connected to Mercury, which is... The the planet of communication. So I really am feeling like you guys are being called to step up and to speak out. We have Gemini here with curiosity, intellect, and networking. Again, socializing with the queen of wands, networking, getting out there. I really, really feel like that project or that thing that you're wanting to pursue. For some of you, I don't know if you're thinking about like doing real estate or if you're thinking about doing some type of trade or something like that, but I'm feeling like you need to just take the plunge, like take the plunge and move forward, okay? And I'm feeling like these two cards are here to say like, start talking about it, start voicing it, like start, you know what I'm saying? If you have some um, skill sets that you need to learn, start that learning process, you guys. 
invoke the curious spirit that you have within yourself and don't settle for what you currently have if you're unhappy. Now, obviously, if you're perfectly content in your life and you're perfectly happy, then you can stay exactly where you are. But if you're unhappy and you feel like you are in this storm or you feel like you are in this place where nothing is moving, there's no progression, we have to take that courageous step forward to go through that portal, right? We have to take a risk. All right. Uh, okay, I'll read your shadow card, your shadow work card last. We have chance, okay? And it says, allow the sea to wash its chest of wonders ashore. You never know what the tide may bring in. Okay, so again, you guys, take a mother freaking chance. All right, I know it's scary. I know it's like a risk and we don't like risk because we're human beings and we like to be comfortable. But with great risk comes great reward, you guys, okay? So again, before I get into the shadow work card, be the leader that you need, okay? Be the advocate for yourself. Be a leader in the month of May. Level up where you can. Level up where it is practical for you to level up at, okay? Be decisive, you guys. Do not, do not let people walk all over you in the month of May. Do not let people be like, no, I wanna do this. Be like, nope, I'm making the rules. I am the boss of this month, okay? <laughs> I am the leader today. I'm making decisions for me, all right? Embrace that exhilarating, that exhilarating energy of the Knight of freaking Wands. Be ambitious, be adventurous, take that chance. Go through these freaking portals, you guys, okay? And connecting, connecting and networking is so important for this group as well. Communication is important. Don't be shy. What are you shy for? Life is short, don't be shy, okay? If you make a fool of yourself, you guys, we're gonna not be here in like 100 years. So it, it really doesn't matter. Don't be shy, all right? Um, I'm sorry, that probably wasn't comforting for some of you. Anyways, I'm going to move on to your shadow work card. This is quarrelsome and it says, does this action fulfill an emotional need for you? Does it make you feel powerful? Is there a bad habit that needs to stop? Okay. Is there a bad habit that needs to stop group number one? Are you guys scrolling on TikTok at night instead of like doing something productive or doing something that would be good for your soul or doing something that you've been wanting to do? Are you guys spending too much time on social media? Are you guys spending too much time um, drinking or eating out? Or not that eating out is bad because eating out can be really good. Anyways, <laughs> or sleeping or whatever it is. Like, do we have a bad habit that's stopping us from getting what we want? Are our bad habits getting in the way of going through that freaking portal? Okay, again, does this action fulfill my emotional need? Does it make me feel powerful? If the answer is no, level up group one, okay? That's what I have for you guys. I love you, group one. I'm sorry if I was a little harsh in this. Um, I'm still waking up, so like, I apologize, but I love you and I just want what's best for you. Level up, be that leader, make decisive action. I love you, thank you, and I'll talk to you really soon. Okay, bye. Hi, group number two. Welcome to the reading. This morning has just been like a whole. It's been interesting. Um, okay, guys, I'm gonna roll the Zodiac guys. We have Gemini and Aries, Gemini and Aries. We have Virgo and we have Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. Uh, Gemini and Libra, one more. Aquarius and Libra, hello. Ooh, Libra again. <laughs> um, with the cards, we have Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. That's about what we got. So starting off with the tarot, babe. We have the hanged man. So I'm feeling like, maybe I should have started backwards, but whatever. I'm feeling group two. Like the month of May is going to be a month where we're kind of hurtling or huddling. I think the word's huddling <laughs> in place. Um, you guys know when there's a storm or like a, a hurricane, which I've never been in, or a tornado, which I've also never been in, but like, you know how people go down in the basements and they like, they huddle. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. It's not funny. But the point is, I'm feeling like we're doing that. And basically what I'm trying to say is the hanged man is us being stuck in a pause. Okay. Us gaining some type of perspective in this pause, things being turned upside down, perhaps even a need to let go of something, you guys, or a need to release something, obviously because we're stuck in a tree. The hermit talks about going within, being isolated, okay? Really focusing on ourselves and our spiritual journey or our own inner development. 
and that's basically where I'm feeling like we're at in the month of May okay now you guys may have already been in this situation for a while been in this energy for a while and I know some of you relate to that and I know some of you will not but I'm feeling like the month of May what is best for us is to kind of huddle reconnect with ourselves or our spirituality I'm feeling like it's a month where we need to really focus on trying to create peace in our life and stillness okay creating a more slow soft life for ourselves now I'm not saying don't go to work I'm not saying don't go to school but I'm just saying like where we can create less stress or where we can create less um, chaos try to try to do these things try to be more still try to live a softer life if you will okay we also have walking away from something okay the eight of cups talks about walking away from something now at one point in life you guys we really did cherish these eight cups they were really important to us they were valuable to us um but now it's time for us to walk away because they're no longer satisfying us this could be looked at and i'm just gonna go ahead and talk about the last card the devil okay which is connected to capricorn um so the thing with these two cards is you guys I am feeling like you're escaping this like toxic energy of the devil now because this is a group reading and a monthly reading we have to look at this in a very broad sense are you addicted to something um do you have a toxic friendship do you have a toxic relationship with your parents do you have a toxic romantic relationship are you overworking yourself are you constantly putting yourself down are you telling yourself you're not good enough? Are you putting yourself in situations where you know you're gonna be around people who makes you feel um, like poorly about yourself or makes you feel low? Are you consuming content, you guys, that makes you feel bad about yourself or that makes you feel like you're not good enough or oh my gosh, I'm not where I'm supposed to be because so-and-so has this and that and I'm still back here or I'm perceived to be back here even though we're not on a time schedule, there's no freaking schedule here in life, we're just all winging it, so. Yeah, we're walking away from something toxic, you guys, is basically what I'm trying to say here with the devil, okay? I don't know what this toxic thing is because everyone who's watching is an individual. Everyone who's watching has their own toxic situations going on in life. Yeah, that's what's going on with the tarot. I'm feeling like we are also getting bored in this hanged man energy or even in this hermit energy because again, for some of you, you've been here for a while and we're just bored of it. We're just like, oh my god, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to like you know, I don't want to be in this hanged man anymore. I don't want to be this hermit anymore. I want to go out. But we also have trust the timing. And it says, trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Babe, if you're feeling pressured to start a family, to get married, to have kids, to get that job, to move into your, to buy a house, to move, to whatever, stop. Literally, you guys, stop, okay? We are not on a time schedule. I don't care what Becky down the street is doing. I don't care what Amanda's doing or Jennifer or Chris or who the freak ever, Joe. We don't care what Joe's doing, you guys. We are on our own schedule, okay? You are exactly where you need to be, group number two. You don't need to worry about who is doing what and how far so-and-so is. You just need to be worried about you and focusing on you and where you're at. It don't matter where nobody else is at. This life is about you. So time's not running out. It's not running out, you guys, okay? Stop thinking that time's running out and stop thinking that you have to make your life fit a stereotype. You don't have to be anything. You don't have to fit into any stereotype or into any social norm. You can be whoever you want to be. It's 2022. Be who you want. Live how you want. And don't put pressure on yourself to rush anything, okay? <sighs> All right. Now we also have wait and it says, it's not yet time. Things are being woven. So again, some of you are getting so freaking tired of like this waiting period, this waiting process. And again, you need to trust the timing. All right, time is not running out. Some of you are sitting here in this hanged man energy, in this hermit energy, and you're just like, I'm so tired of this. When is it gonna be my turn? Well, the cards are saying it's, there's this waiting process for a reason. Maybe we don't see the reason right now, but we're waiting for a reason. Things aren't ready yet. Things aren't, things are still being woven, okay? So patience, I feel like it's something that we really need to practice in the month of May. And I know that's hard. I'm super impatient myself, you guys. So if you're like frustrated and you're like, I don't want to wait, I totally get it because I'm very impatient. I'm the kind of person where like, I don't even want to wait in line. I'm just like, 
I don't got time for this line. I don't got time for anything, okay? So I get it. I really, really do. Um, sometimes the universe makes us wait. The next one we have here is karmic relationships. And it says, um, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. All right. So I want to remind you guys that karmic is not bad. Karma is neutral. Karma is not good or bad. It can be bad. It can be good, but it's neutral when we're talking about it in a general sense. Okay. So with this, again, there's some type of toxicity or lesson taking place in our life. There's something that we feel bound to, right? And that's why this karmic relationship, because what is a relationship? A relationship is something we're connected to, right? You don't have a relationship with somebody that you don't know. There's no connection there. But you do have relationships with the people in your life that you do know, or the things in life that are connected to you, right? Um, so you don't have to look at this as like a person necessarily or like a, a human to human relationship. You can look at it as like your relationship to social media, your relationship to yourself, your relationship to sleep. I don't know. I don't know what your struggle is, right? But whatever it is, you guys look at this relationship, this karmic relationship as that. There's a lesson within this karmic relationship to be had. Okay. And again, there is soul growth. Okay. Soul growth. That is so important. I don't want you guys to feel like you're stuck to this because you're not. We also have um, when or where are you being called to journey to? So isn't this exciting, guys? I feel like this is so exciting. So again, there's this waiting period that we need to embrace, this patience we need to embrace, but there is a journey ahead of us. There is this journey ahead of us. And perhaps right now we don't see our final destination, right? Perhaps right now we don't see this castle. We're just walking and walking in this water and we're like, when am I going to freaking reach my goal? When am I going to get my castle? But you don't see it's right there. We have a little bit ways to go, a little ways to go, but it's right there, you guys. So moving on, we have love and it says, Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring true love here to me. So this relationship, you guys, could be a romantic relationship, but obviously I'm feeling like this love is directly connected to that eight of cups again you guys the thing that we're walking away from or the thing that we are leaving behind is something that we at one point held close to us or it was very important to us i don't know if you guys are trying to call in love in the month of may or if you guys are trying to again release that thing that you loved at one point and it's very difficult because there is still love there but regardless love is here coming up now i also feel like you guys there is new beginnings happening for you after this waiting period i don't necessarily feel like this is happening in the month of may for some of you it may <laughs> but i feel like for most of you we are going to be in this waiting period for the month of may but this transition this new beginning is coming up in the horizon and i want you guys to again be patient it says let this magic in my spell clear the space in which i dwell okay so again we're trying to clear out the energy metamorphosis taking place you guys we have scorpio here which is all about transformation and new beginnings you guys it's death and rebirth okay so it says intensity exposing purging and renewing all right we gotta purge the devil we gotta purge the eight of cups we have to purge it, you guys, and move forward. So with this, you guys, again, with Scorpio energy, it can be rather intense. It can be um, a lot to handle, which is why I was saying in the beginning, it's important to me that you guys make sure that you take time in the month of May to center yourself, to love on yourself, to be gentle with yourself, and to not overwhelm your system with too much work too much stress try to keep those cortisol levels low all right guys and i know that's hard i know everyone lives a very stressful life or a lot of people live a very stressful life so I, i'm not trying to say it as if it's so easy to just lower stress right because i know sometimes it's just it's hard um but if you can try to at the moments that you can now we also have a union a, a union it's a conjunction and it says a union merging and coming together 
So I don't know if you guys are coming together with something that you love in the month of May, or if we need to embrace coming together with our loved ones in the month of May, maybe perhaps like finding a support system in the month of May. That's kind of how I'm reading this. Like we need to find people who are going to support us through this moment of walking away or through this moment of the devil or through this moment of like being alone and isolated, going through that waiting period, coming together with people who do love us and who do support us. I feel like it's very important in the month of May. So I Want to encourage you guys to go ahead and do that if you can if you have people i know not everybody has really close connections which i completely understand the next card we have here is move and it says barnacles only grow on a docked ship move okay group number two here's the thing i want to say to you guys the month of may is a period of wait the month of may is this period where we're kind of starting to clear things out we're starting to dust off the bad habits we're trying to dust off the toxic relationships the career that is just draining and not paying us enough the toxicity right we're just trying to dust it off and i feel like after that then we will start being able to make moves forward and with this move card i really am feeling like you guys need to start preparing or to start pl start planning um your next moves right start planning your next what am i going to go next what do i need to do write down a list you guys make a vision board okay i want you guys to really plan your next steps out during this waiting period because that's the perfect time to do it and then we have a shadow work card um, and it says insecurity, please understand your worth, your value. Sorry guys, I read that wrong. It says insecurity, please understand your worth, your value, your purpose here on earth. There's no need to feel small or compare yourself to others. <sighs> Again, if all your friends are having kids right now or if all your friends are going off to uni right now or to college or if they're making money or if they're doing this or if they're doing that, they're going on vacations. It's okay if you are not in the place that everybody else is at right now. It's okay if you feel alone and you feel like you're the only one going through A, B, and C. It's okay if you are not where you want to be. But you need to know that you are worthy. You need to know that you're fully capable of progressing forward. And I feel like with this card, it's literally saying like, stop, don't compare yourself to others. Don't allow what other people are doing to get in your way. Stay focused on you, stay focused on your goals, stay focused on this journey that you are taking, okay? Because you are the only one who can walk this journey group too. No one's gonna walk this journey for you. You are the only person who's going to walk it. So don't be insecure about where you're at right now, all right? And <clears throat> trust, again, you guys, trust the wave you came in on, trust that new beginnings are coming up, trust that love is coming, trust that happiness is coming. Don't be discouraged by where you are right now with this hanged man or with this hermit or even with this devil. Don't be discouraged by this, okay? All right, group number two. That's what I have for you guys. Let me know below if this resonated. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and I'll talk to you really soon. Okay, bye. Group three. So I just got done with your reading. Um, I didn't realize how heavy it was when I started the reading. It is a little bit heavier, you guys. We do have the tower here. So if you have not recently gone through something where you have lost something or you have, and loss could be anything. It could be a breakup. It could be fired. It could be having to leave school or uni or college or whatever you want to call it. Um, but there's significant loss here, but there's also a birth here. So if you don't relate to that, this isn't the reading for you. I just want to say that right off the bat because I know people get a little sensitive, protect your mental health. Here's the reading. Hi, group number three. Welcome to your guys' reading. I'm going to go ahead, you guys, and start off with the zodiac dice. We have Leo and we also have Scorpio. We have Pisces and Cap. We have Aquarius and Leo. We have Sagittarius and Taurus. And one more. We have Scorpio and we also have Capricorn. In the cards, we have Leo, Gemini, Aries, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, you guys. You know, you know. Okay. So. Ten of Cups. Actually, stop. That's really nice and everything, but I actually want to talk about this first. The Tower, okay? 
Now, obviously the tower is one of the most disliked cards, I think, in the tarot. I enjoy the tower and I say this almost every time the tower comes up and the reason why I enjoy the tower is because I don't want things in my life that aren't meant for me. I don't want things in my life that aren't good for me. Um, I don't want, like if you're not supposed to be here then get the frick out. Like I don't give a dang, go, go, okay? Let it fall apart, let this tower come because I don't want things that aren't meant for me. And the tower does not show up with things that are meant for you, okay? like. You're never gonna have a tower moment with something that you're supposed to be doing or with somebody you're supposed to be with or with that career you're meant to be in. Like, you're not gonna have a tower moment, right? If something's not meant for you, the tower's gonna come in and knock it over. So this is, that's why I like the tower, because I don't, if you're not meant for me, get out. Here's the thing, guys. A lot of the cards here, we have the lovers and the 10 of cups, which makes me feel like we're talking about a romantic relationship I, I don't like to like predict breakups. Like I don't like to be like, oh, we're breaking up in the month of May or we're having separations in the month of May. And this doesn't have to be romantic, you guys. It could literally be a friendship. It could be a career or a job that we loved or uh, a hobby we loved. Perhaps we like get an injury and we can't perform that hobby anymore. I don't know, I don't know. But the lovers signifies soulmates coming together. When I think about soulmates in a general sense, I think about something that is vibrationally in alignment with you, something that you really love and hold dear, whether it is a person or whether it is an activity or a job, a career, a school, whatever. Something that we find important to ourselves personally. Um, the Ten of Cups signifies relationships and having emotional happiness in the general sense. So. I feel like there is a coming, there's some type of ending in this situation of something we love, okay? We also have the sun here, which is happiness and radiance and like things being great. So if I'm being honest, you guys, the way I'm reading this is like the wool is being ripped. Is that the right word? The rug. The wool? The rug. The rug is being ripped from under you. Um, I almost feel like we're living in this energy of happiness and bliss and we're joyous and we're excited about life. We're like, everything's great. Everything's lovely. I should put a warning in front of this. I should. I feel like this is a rougher reading. Um, we're in love or we love our career. We love our school. We love whatever it is that's going on in our life. Like whatever this love is for you guys personally, we're happy. Okay. We feel emotionally fulfilled. And then the tower's coming in and it's kind of like ripping that thing away from us unexpectedly. It feels unexpected to me just because all the cards previous to the tower are very happy. Like when I was first shuffling this deck, you guys, or the, for this uh, pile, I was like, oh my God, group number three is living their best life. I'm so happy for them. And then the tower came out and I was like, that's not like great. Cause it just feels like unexpected. It feels like something we weren't necessarily expecting. And then throughout the freaking um, Oracle cards that shows up as well. What comes after the tower, you guys, is the two of wands. And the two of wands signifies planning. This is the blueprint card. So if we're in emotional bliss, if we have everything we need, if we're successful and happy and blissful and in love, with our career, with school, with our life, with our lover, with our wh whoever. Um, it doesn't necessarily make sense to me that then the tower and planning would come up. Cause it, again, it just feels like the wool's being ripped from under us, you guys, and we have to regroup. We have to restructure something. We have to replan. I'm not saying that this is a breakup or that we're getting fired or that we have to leave uni or college or whatever. I'm not saying that we're losing a friend. I'm not saying anything like that. But there may be a situation in our life that we have to restructure, we have to regroup, we have to kind of like re conform those relationships or that situation or that part of our life, okay? Because again, the tower comes in and it creates chaos and it creates dis destruction. And then we have planning. We have to be like, okay, this is what happened. Now what do we do next? What is my next move? 
that's what the two of wands is and that's what i'm getting from the tarot now moving on you guys i want to talk about this next one because it gets a little bit lighter after this we have the void and it says stop embrace winter cosmic womb when this came out i knew that the tower was supposed to come out because this is emptiness you guys this is starting over okay when we have an empty womb that means we have the ability to create life all right think of an empty womb this is a cosmic womb what does that mean that means we have the ability to create life we have a fresh slate we have something fresh we have a new start right and i know that's not something everybody wants to hear i know i'm gonna get comments of people being like i'm sick of this i'm sick of going through this and i get it i really do get it um embrace winter embrace the start over embrace the fresh slate we have lifting the veil questioning everything anything unaligned must go the tower comes in group number three to get rid of anything that is unaligned the tower comes in because it's like i understand that you really love a b and c but it's not meant for you like it's not aligned with you it's not what you're supposed to be doing it's not who you're supposed to be with like there's better out there for you and i know right now you don't see that but i need you to trust me that's what the tower is saying you guys and that's why i always like i get why people dislike the tower so much but the tower calls for us to have trust in the universe to have trust in god or spirit or whoever that we personally believe in um and I get that that's hard, right? It's freaking hard. It's not easy. It's frustrating and it's sad and it hurts and it's painful. And I understand that. Um, but again, lifting the veil, truth will be revealed. Clarity is coming in group three. Okay. And anything that is unaligned is going to be let go of. All right. Now, this next card, I was so happy because I was just like, oh, thank gosh, group number three needs a break, right? We have birthing a new age. And it says birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. With this cosmic womb, you guys, we get to birth a new creation. We get to birth a new world. How beautiful is that? How freaking beautiful is that? And again, I know this sucks. I know this isn't easy, especially because group number three, we had all this happiness here in the beginning with the freaking um, the Ten of Cups the sun and the lovers like we were happy with that right and we're like how can I possibly be happier with anything else how can I possibly have any more joy and love and happiness than what I did when I had these three down here but there is new creations and a dream life ahead coming from this destruction coming from this cosmic womb okay so the energy that we need to embrace in the month of May, you guys, because that's what this reading is all about. We need to embrace transformation in the month of May. We need to be fluid with whatever wants to go, let it go, okay? Don't hold on to anything too tightly in the month of May. And I'm not, again, I'm not predicting a breakup. I'm not predicting getting fired. I'm not predicting anything tragic happening to anybody. All I'm saying is for the month of May, what we need to really hold on to is letting go. We need to embrace the energy of just letting things naturally unfold if people want to walk away or if things want to fall apart let them fall apart okay <sighs> things that are not aligned with you don't hold on to them moving on we have friendship here and it says bring to me friendship true sharing laughter and understanding too so perhaps we're letting go of friendships that are toxic you guys or friendships that are no longer in alignment with us you guys know those people when you hang out with them and it just takes so much energy from you and at one point in your life perhaps you and these people really got along or you really were like vibrationally aligned but now like you've grown you changed and it's draining to be around them you have to really try hard to like get along with them or try hard to like relate let those friendships fall you guys okay and embrace meeting people who are more in alignment with you embrace um getting into a career field that is more in alignment with you i used to work in the cosmetology field you guys i've talked about this i think a couple of times um but i used to do like weddings i worked in the salon for a period of times 
I've done hair, makeup, etc, etc. And I hated it. Okay, every person that I ever worked on, I couldn't stand because it just felt like I was doing work that was so shallow. And so depleting of my energy in a way that I just like I didn't care. I was like, I don't freaking care about your gosh damn hair or your freaking makeup. Like I don't care. Okay, like, there's bigger situations going on in the world. I don't care that you're you know what I'm saying? I don't care. Like I just don't. And that's a horrible way to be when you're doing like your job. <laughs> like you should care. You should want to like do the best you can do and like care about everyone's situation. But I was honestly in a position where I felt like I was in just such a shallow career that I just didn't freaking care. And with this, I'm feeling like this is calling for you guys to embrace what feels natural to you. Embrace coming into connection with people and things that are in alignment with you. Harmony. As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. Okay, creating harmony in your life, creating harmony, not holding on to anything too strongly, not holding on to anything with too much grip, you guys, allowing things to flow naturally and harmoniously. Now, the next two cards I found really interesting, they're the zodiac cards here. And we have the seventh house, which is profound relationships, intimacy, and romantic partners. This is connected to Libra energy, you guys, Venus energy here. So the next card that came out is Aries. And I'm not saying that these are completely like contradicting themselves, but this is talking about coming together with people and like connections and profound relationships. And Aries is all about independence. So again, starting off with the beginning of this reading, having connections, going through a tower moment and then quite literally being like, I need to regroup, replan, restructure these relationships. Embracing more independence group number three is really important for this group, okay? And again, I'm not saying that there is a breakup and I'm not saying that you're not finding love. I'm not saying that there isn't happiness. I'm just saying we have to kind of regroup, okay? And become more independent and not so reliant on others for our happiness. I feel like for some of us, we may be reliant on other people to make us happy or maybe reliant on other people to bring us like joy. And I'm feeling like what this reading, the overall energy of this is like, we need to be in alignment with ourselves and to be more independent and to make sure that our happiness is coming from us. Um, so again, Aries, independence, bravery, and passion, finding our passions, being more independent, not relying on other people to make us happy. The next one I have here is the ocean. And it says, be beautiful, mysterious, wild, and free. All right, this whole reading is freedom, okay? I understand it now, I understand it now. This doesn't have to do with love, okay? And it could be, but again, it's general and it's for the month. Something is holding on to us. Like we are conjoined with something else. And I don't know if it's your job or friendship or a romantic partnership or what it is, but something is connected to us. I don't want to say it's like a parasitical, parasitical, a parasite type relationship. Um, I don't want to say that because that's not necessarily what it is, but I feel like we're kind of cleansing our body or cleansing our life of the parasites, cleansing our life of the things that are not in alignment with ourselves. We are becoming wild and free. Freedom means that we are not attached to anything. Freedom means that we are able to freely go where we want. We are freely able to move about in a way that is in alignment with ourselves. Okay, group number three. So again, doesn't mean something's necessarily ending, but we are embracing more freedom. And this tower is coming in, I feel like, to break us free. Okay. So there's that. A lot of stuff going on for you guys, group three. I'm going to read your shadow work card. And this is the last one. It says, quick tempered, think before you speak, put space between your thoughts and your words that come out. <clears throat> I'm going to read it one more time. Think before you speak. Put space between your thoughts and your words that come out, okay? So don't allow anger to control your actions. I always say like, it's completely okay to be angry. It's completely okay to like be sad or to be, um, feel vengeful. It's, those emotions are human and they're normal. 
What's not okay is to allow your emotions to control your actions, okay? Your actions should never be a reflection of your emotions. Your actions should be a reflection of your moral compass and how it is that you decide to morally process through those emotions, okay? Like you shouldn't, like just because I'm angry, I'm not gonna go punch someone. You know what I'm saying? That's not mature. That's not who I am. That's not in alignment with who I am, but I may feel like I want to, right? And that's okay to feel that way. But that doesn't mean that you should go out and do that. Overall, group three, embracing our independence is the message for you guys in the month of May. Embrace your independence. Embrace being the most authentic version of yourself that you can be. Cleanse all those parasites. Get rid of the parasites, okay, you guys? That's what I have for you, group three. Thank you guys, I love you. Let me know below if this resonated and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Okay, bye. Hi group four, how are you guys doing? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead you guys and start with the little dice. Cancer, Sagittarius, hi. Virgo and Leo. Aries and Leo. Aquarius and Pisces, one more. Libra and Virgo. We also have Gemini, Aquarius, that's what we got. So guys, Eight of Pentacles, I'm gonna just say this. The month of May for you guys, group number four, you should be focusing on learning, opening your mind up like a little sponge and just taking in information. That is the main energy of this entire reading I feel is just learning taking lessons in absorbing things kind of sitting and pondering and wondering and being like hmm, like throwing ideas back and forth perhaps but anyways eight of pentacles we're trying to perfect a skill I oftentimes equate this with school uni college whatever you want to call it love education of the formal type or informal okay because we can be educated and not be formally educated, obviously. So with this, we're trying to perfect something though. We're trying to learn, understand, perfect something. So for example, I'm trying to currently perfect my gluten-free vegan <laughs> lemon tart recipe, okay? Um, that's what I'm currently trying to perfect at this moment in time. So I've been making it every week and trying to like make adjustments here, make adjustments there, and I'm not gonna stop until it's exactly what I want. So you guys may be doing something similar where you are doing something in a repetitive manner that you are trying to perfect uh, and you just keep doing it over and over and over again because you want to make sure it's perfect. This could be studying you guys, okay? We have the nine of wands which talks about resilience. You may be getting exhausted throughout the month of May. You may feel like you are feeling a little bit depleted or drained. I oftentimes feel like when we're taking in a lot of information group four that we do feel drained, we do feel exhausted. You guys may be working really hard as well. We have the Ace of Cups, which is connected to all the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, hello. The Ace of Cups though you guys are talking about an overflow of emotion. Again, sometimes when we're overwhelmed, cause that's what I'm feeling like is the energy in regards to like what negative emotions may we be feeling in the month of May. I feel like the uh, negative emotions we may be feeling in the month of May is like oh, feeling overwhelmed or feeling like drained and just exhausted. So that's why I feel like this emotions is coming up. If you need to have yourself a cry, have yourself a cry. It's okay, okay? Men, women, everyone needs to cry. That is a sign that we are alive and we are human and we are experiencing human emotions. So cry if you need to cry, guys. Let it out. Let your emotions flow. Don't try to hold them back. With this, I am, again, feeling like it's very connected to this um, feeling resilient and feeling like we need to be strong to move forward. But this Ace of Cups is here to say, like, it's okay. Like, cry if you need to cry. You can still be resilient and strong and cry. Or express your emotions because I know not everybody is a crier. We have the four of pentacles. So I want to encourage you guys to make steps to either budget or find a way that you can put more money into your, I don't want to say, I hate telling people to put money into savings accounts because like your money is just depreciating over time, but put money away. Don't spend as much. Invest if you can invest, if you can afford to invest. Um, it doesn't take that much money, you guys, to invest in crypto or into stocks. And I'm not telling anybody this is not financial advice, <laughs> but um, it doesn't take that much money. Like you can do $50, 20 you can even do $20, $20 here, $20 there. 
so with this you guys is talking about needing to be more frugal needing to be more aware of where you're placing your money and your finances now if you are rich and you're living lab you don't need to do that this could be talking about needing to manage where you're putting your energy or manage where you're spending your time this could also be talking about holding something close to the vest and not being ready to share it with the world right as you guys can see here this dragon is like holding all these little pentacles really close to them it's because they're not ready to share it with the world right now save money invest don't just spend money all silly willy-nilly or it's talking, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, or it's talking about holding something close to the vest and not being ready to share it with the world at this moment. I have um, Earth School and it says life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. So yet again, this month is a month for us to be sponges. This month is a month for us to <sighs> absorb, absorb, absorb information, absorb wisdom, absorb, okay you guys? traditionally or non-traditionally. We also have activated earth. It says power place, lie lines, trust where you are led. Oftentimes, you guys, the path to our manifestations, to our dreams, the things that we've been asking for doesn't look how we had envisioned it to look. That's why it's important to be flexible in regards to the path to get there, right? Have a vision, have a dream, have a goal. But don't be so dogmatic on how it is that we get there, right? Be open, be flexible, be mutable to how that happens. So we also have the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. It's happening for you, not to you. This takes me back to that nine of wands, you guys, the resilience, okay? It's happening for you, not to you. So if you guys feel overwhelmed or stressed or like you're under a lot of pressure, again, Sometimes we have to go through moments like that because it's preparing us for something bigger. It's preparing us for the next steps, right? I don't know if you guys are in school right now and you're feeling really overwhelmed or you're feeling like, oh my gosh, this is so much for me to take in. This is preparing you for your next step, for your, eventually, for your eventual career or for wherever it is that you are headed next in life. Pressure comes in to help build us up, but it's gotta knock us down first, right? So the next one we have here is success. And as you guys can see here, this woman is carrying a bundle of, it looks like hay to me. It reminds me of the freaking 10 of wands in tarot. It says success that's true belongs to me, success with honor and integrity. So with this, you guys, I really am feeling like you guys are going to have the success, but it, again, it's gonna take a lot of hard work and effort. There, It may feel burdenous, it may feel like a burden at times, but eventually we will get there. And I don't want you guys to give up if you get tired or exhausted, keep going, keep trying, keep pushing forward. We have wisdom again via sponge. Um, it says on a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. So again, the month of May for you guys is a month where we are just absorbing as much wisdom and knowledge as we possibly can. I wanna encourage you guys to, if you're not in traditional school, to teach yourself something this month or to try to go learn something this month. Again, we can teach ourselves literally anything, you guys, especially with the internet. I'm assuming you guys have access to internet if you're watching this. We can teach ourselves literally anything, you guys. So I wanna encourage you throughout the month of May to try to learn something new to get your minds going. We have Mercury here, which is connected to Virgo. It's also connected to our beautiful Gemini. And it says, think, learn, network, and communicate, all right? So communication and networking may be really important in the month of May as well. But again, you guys, it's highlighting thinking and learning be a sponge okay guys be a sponge teach yourself something new it'll be fun and i know sometimes like we we get hesitant about learning new things because when we learn new things oftentimes we're not great at it however eventually if we keep trying and we become this little spider with the eight of pentacles we will become masters we also have aquarius and this is originality with this you guys aquarius is all about innovation radical change the rebel, the humanitarian, okay, going against the grain. So with this, and again, it's also an air sign. Air signs are always connected to like thought, intellect, and learning, communication. So with this, you guys, which Aquarius specifically is connected to Uranus, 
I want you guys to embrace any type of change that may come up in the month of May. I want you guys to embrace any type of humanitarian acts that you may feel called to do or any type of like rebellious movement. Now I'm not saying like overthrow the government or like do anything crazy or radical. Like don't be radical. Okay guys, like we, we don't approve of <laughs> anything radical. We don't approve. But if you guys are feeling called to step up and to make a change um, on a communal level, this may be embracing or yeah, embracing you guys to do that. Originality, I also feel like talks about like being a pioneer of something. So going off the beaten path, maybe doing something that hasn't been done before, or maybe doing something that you guys personally haven't done before. Now we also have choose wisely here and it says be discerning. You don't have to keep everything in your net. Oh, quality over quantity, quality over quantity. You don't got to keep everything in your net, babe. Okay. Uh, we are fishing for salmon no we are fishing for crab we are fishing for lobster we're not gonna keep all the little all the little fish in our net okay we don't have to keep everything that comes to us we don't have to take every opportunity that comes to us be discerning about where we are spending our energy be discerning about where we're spending our money everything that comes into our net or our basket does not have to stay okay we can let it go so yeah you don't got to keep everything in your net that also goes for stress, you guys, and that also goes for people. You don't have to keep everything in your net. Moving on to our shadow work card, you guys, which is the last card here, um, it says shame. So you guys may struggle with shame and it says you are not flawed. You are so worthy of love and belonging. Forgive yourself for not giving yourself enough self-love. Oh my God, I love you guys, group number four. I hope you guys are okay. If you resonate with that, I hope you guys know if this is true, that you are worthy of love and that you deserve love of all forms and that you're perfect exactly how you are. And I don't want any of you to feel shameful. Um, I don't know why that like got to me so much. <sighs> this is a really hard working group. I can tell this is a really hard working group. And I know that sometimes you guys may get overwhelmed or stressed out. And that's completely okay, you guys. <clears throat> Give yourself a moment to relax. Give yourself time to regenerate, okay? You can't do everything. And yeah, overall message, you guys, is be a sponge. Soak in as much information as you can. Teach yourself something new this month. Be discerning about the decisions that you make. Be discerning about um, you know, the financial moves you're making. Be discerning about what is coming into your net, if you will. I also feel like, uh, again, learning is very important. Knowing that if you're going through this pressure, this struggle right now, that it's happening for you, not to you, it's preparing you for the future, it's preparing you for the success here. All right, and that is what I got for you, group four. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I hope everybody is doing well, um, and I'll talk to you guys really, really soon. Okay, bye.